Hello students, today we will discuss about the submantle triangle. This is the smallest triangle when you are talking about the subdivisions of anterior triangle. So submantle means this area lies below the chin, that means your mental region. So this is the area below the chin is known as submantle area or you, have, you will have the submantle triangle. So what are the boundaries of submantle triangle? Now you have to first keep this thing in mind that submental triangle is having two half, right half and left half and when you will join them then you will have a single submental triangle. Generally whenever we are talking about the anterior triangle you are having the right anterior triangle and left anterior triangle where you are having the three complete different triangles like three right and left carotid triangle, right and left muscular triangle, right and left digastric triangle. But when we are talking about the submental triangle, it is only single in number and it is present here. It is having half of the triangle on the right side and half of the triangle in left side. So this is the first thing which you have to keep in mind that this triangle is median in placement. That means this triangle is crossing the midline. So half of the triangle present in my right side and half is present on the left side. Now on each side, its boundaries are formed by the anterior belly of corresponding digastric muscle. Why we are using word on each side? Because I told you that half of the present in the right and half is present in the left. So right and left both muscles are forming the boundary. So in this what you are seeing from the front. Now here you can see that this is the base of your mandible and this is the hired bone. And here you are having the two anterior belly of digastric. This is your right side belly of the digastric and this is the left side belly of anterior belly of digastric. Clear? So now you can see that the triangle is present between the chin and the hired bone and on the sides it is bounded by the respective anterior bellies of two digastric muscles. Now what is the base? Now base is formed by the body of hired bone and apex is towards the lower part of symphysis menti which is known as chin. So now here you can see that this will become the apex of the triangle and this apex is facing the lower end of this symphysis menti and this is the base of the triangle which is formed by the hired bone. So this is your submental triangle and I already told you that this triangle is divided into the two half, one is the right half and one is the left half. That's why we are saying that this triangle is crossing the midline. It is having the right and left half on both the sides. Now what is the floor? Now this is the question from this topic that what do you mean by diaphragma oris? So the floor of the triangle is formed by muscle is known as mylohyoid. Now when you will see the mylohyoid, mylohyoid is having the two half right and left half and this is your hyoid bone. Now you are having the muscle arising from the uh, hyoid bone and it is attached on the mylohyoid lines which are present here on the inner side of mandible. So when you will see the inner side of mandible you will find a prominent line is known as mylohyoid line. So the muscle is going on the mylohyoid line but in midline the right and left half of the mylohyoid muscle attached and they will make a structure is known as median raphe. What is that? Median raphe. So this muscular area is going to support the oral structures just like a diaphragm. For example, you have the pelvic diaphragm. Pelvic diaphragm gives support to the pelvic organs. In the same way, you don't have any bone here in this area behind the mandible. So the floor of oral cavity like your tongue is supported by the muscles which are present here between the two half of mandible and this muscle is the mylohyoid muscle and that's why it is known as diaphragm of your oral cavity or diaphragma oris. So what is diaphragma oris? Diaphragma oris is a muscle which is forming the diaphragm of oral cavity and that is formed by the mylohyoid muscles of right and left side and they fuse in midline uh, by a median raphe. Clear? So this is the question for your exam. The next question comes is contains of submental triangle. Now in this small submental triangle you are having only the two contents which are 
more most commonly asked in your exam anterior jugular vein and submental group of lymph nodes so here you can see that these are the anterior jugular veins and you can see that these are the lymph nodes so let's discuss one by one uh, the first is anterior jugular vein now anterior jugular veins are formed by the joining of submental veins so there are small small submental veins are present these are the tributaries of anterior jugular vein so here you can see that these are the submental veins and these submental veins submental veins will join here and all of them will join to form a anterior jugular veins which are present here you can see these are the two anterior jugular vein now these anterior jugular vein will run downward and they will drain into the external jugular vein or sometimes directly into the respective side of subclavian vein now in this image you can see that these are the submental veins so this is the one side submental vein this is the another side submental vein now they are joining to form this anterior jugular vein and these anterior jugular vein is going downward to open here into the external jugular vein or into the subclavian veins then you will have submental group of lymph nodes now these lymph nodes are present here in the area below the chin now these lymph nodes are situated in the superficial fascia they lies between the two anterior bailey of digastric that means in the triangle and this is the question now this part is most important question for your exam which of the following area drain by submental group of lymph nodes so these are the few areas what is the first area superficial tissue below the chin clear so tissue is of this area second thing is central part of the lower lip not upper lip it is the central part of lower lip then you will have adjoining inner part of the gums then you will have anterior part of the floor of the mouth and the lastly tip of the tongue now this question has been asked so many times that tip of the trunk drains into which part of the lymph node answer is submental group so again i will revise the areas which will drain into this area so first is the subcutaneous area of the submental triangle then you will have the center part of the lower lip then adjoining gum then adjoining floor and tip of the tongue now these lymph nodes ultimately drain into the submandibular group of lymph nodes or into the deep group of the lymph nodes now here in this image you can see that these are your submental group of lymph nodes and these submental group of lymph nodes are draining this area that means they are draining the area of this submental triangle they are draining the lower lip which is here they are draining the tip of the tongue they are draining the inner side of the gum which are present here now from this area the lymph will either go into the submandibular group and they also go into the deep group now what is the deep group the deep group which lies along the lower part of internal jugular vein that is known as juglo omohyoid so the lymph from the submental group will go in submandibular as well as into the juglo omohyoid group of lymph nodes so now at the end of this session of submental triangle there are few important concept first is the submental triangle is not a pair triangle it is a triangle which crosses the midline second thing is that submental triangle floor is known as diaphragm of oral cavity that is diaphragma oris which is formed by the mylohyoid muscle and the raphe the another important thing is that this triangle contains the submental group of lymph node and this submental group of lymph node drains the tip of tongue then it drains the center part of the lower lip lower gum area around the chin clear so this is all for the submental triangle thank you